I built a shed. I've been meaning to for ages, but I never had the time, and right now I don't have much, but I do have time. So I built myself a shed. All this slowing down has brought the neighbourhood out into their gardens. We're blinking in daylight like blitzed cockneys the morning the bombs stopped falling, the weight of clocks lifted from our shoulders. We shared the time of day, and then, after a bit... We started sharing surplus building materials we all had kicking about, and I built a shed. The wood I had already, the 28 sheets of corrugated tin, they came from the recluse living with his mum five doors up in a house that smells of sad wallpaper and vim, handed over fences at the regulation social distance with gloves and masks and chat about the quiet of the street now Alan's Land Rover's been grounded. I built myself... A shed. And in so doing, I did myself a series of minor injuries. Metal cuts, splinters, and once from trying to saw while reading a Beano strip upside down to a six-year-old. My partner, a nurse, is less sympathetic since my morning angle grinding after her night shift. I'm made to clap louder on Thursdays now. I built myself a shed because I can't escape a pandemic virus, but with a... A little bit of hard graft, I can escape my family. Somewhere I can watch the rainfall and await a future where we can all get back to being how we were in the past. It's my tin palace. Three doors up, I hear the woman say, it looks like something from a Caribbean shantytown. She's locked down with loud reggae on all day long, so I take her comment as positive. <laughs> 